what a prick. Monsieur de blah, blue blah, whatever his bloody name was. Monsieur de Bobo. Had the ultimate pleasure of running into him numerous times in the last episode. No longer. What's up everyone and welcome back to The Witcher 3. So we're heading to the quarry for the contract of Bovine Blues and we're looking for the foreman. Now that has got to be one. I've been talking about looking for more hand spaces and that really does look like one in my eyes. So that's next on the agenda. See, the Camelengo wants me to go over there. Obviously, there's something even on the way. It's got to be. Has to be. There's actually some Griffin gear pretty close as well. Which is no point in going this way. I thought it'd be quicker just to uh, follow the road around. I need to find myself another hand space. You are very aware I am a bit strapped for coin, as it were. Ideas or quarry. Champs de Salus. Herb. Take those fools past the leaves. Thank you. Now oh, there is a notice board somewhere around here, but we'll leave that for now. We just want to find the quarry foreman first and tell us what this contract is all about. There's a giant hand there. Be erecting a statue somewhere? It's probably a statue of Lebioda or. Can't see anything. It's below me. Men with deadlines to meet! Wine, like all things noble, requires patience. Drink! Give me a drink! I don't think that guy has much patience for you, mate. Is Foreman Pafnuzio. What the golly blasting devils are you doing, men? What plague? An unfortunate turn of events, that's all. Get back to chiseling. If we don't deliver that head on time, the infestor will twist my plums off. Is that what you'll tell Emil's widow? That a cow crushed him and it was an accident? This, sir, is a grave matter. It requires a specialist, some mage or warlock. What happened here? Look, it's that witcher who's come to town. Maybe he can do something, an exorcism or the like. We should ask how much coin he'll want. Saw your notice. Got a problem with the cow? Fear a plague, is that it? Yes, indeed, and a horrid one at that. With Earth the gods, something true we have. In Zeracania, they sent a plague of locusts, then of frogs. With us, they skipped right to raining cows down on us. Enough, enough. No need to so panic. Come, Master Witcher, I shall divulge to you the matter at hand. Yes, an unfortunate matter indeed, to be crushed by a cow. A true shame, Emil. He was a good worker. I told them at once there had to be a simple explanation. But that lot, no. Right away they started in screaming, PLAGUE! Demanding higher wages for hardship. Poor working conditions, you see? They'll ruin me, the blotters. Mm, my job is to figure out why a cow fell from the sky. That it? That too. The thing is, since none bother to clear the cow corpse, some filths overrun the other pit. We fear to venture there. Not surprised. Cow? Where'd it come from? What kind was it? Why, the ordinary spotted kind. Nothing unusual. Its corpse rots in the other pit, sends out its stench, and a meal lies right beneath it. Will you tend to the matter and take on the contract? Unusual one, say the least, a cow falling from the sky, but yes, we shall take it. What exactly is going on here? Construction of a statue of the Prophet Lepiota. 
We're carving it. Not all at once, that is, but piece by piece. A pious Infestus revived the project after years of neglect. He's engaged all nearby quarries in its completion. And we would be on schedule were it not for the incident. Please, Master, will you look into it? Need to know more about this accident. Anyone actually see what happened? No, but sounds there were. Osterv had just gone to see how Emil was getting along when suddenly we heard an ear botching boom. Moments later, something smashed into one of the cranes. Doubt it was the cow that hit the crane. Probably true. At any rate, come morn, we ventured out to sea, but the vermin drove us off. With that, all work came to a halt. Has remained so since. Master, tarry no longer, please. Will you take on the matter? Need to talk about my reward before I decide. Ah, time for a good haggle. So how much would you take? A good haggle that you have a flat line of what I can't go over. Alright, let's start 390, shall we? Hmm. You must go lower for it to make any sense to me. It's better than I would have thought, actually. I thought he was going to kick right off and that had gone his annoyance level jumped straight up there, but... Um, yeah, just go up. I'll make him even better, won't it? Fine. But that is the sum total. No bonuses or gratuities on top. Understood. Fine. I'll look into it. Might be a botched portal, but I doubt it. Lapiota reward you with progeny plenty. I shall keep an eye out for your return. Jolly Foreman. I've accepted his help. Uh, don't mind me before I go, I'm just going to loot up what you've got. Unfortunately, he's only got one thing. Now, this is interesting. A cow falling from the sky, and unfortunately, a meal was a. Uh, caught underneath it by the looks of things. I highly doubt it's a curse. But I guess we'll uh, soon find that out. I was right, by the way, so it was the uh, a statue of Lebioda that's being built here. Looks if there's anything here. No. It's another part of it being built there. Is that another hand? I think so. It's hard on the nerves, eh? That's why you're so great. No, I'm so great because I'm helping all you poor folk out all the time. Yeah, it's me in here. I'm just going around. <laughs> I've never assigned on to this job if I know it'd be like this. Well, he said that something was already down there, so I presume the cow's corpse is now infested with ghouls. Or some kind of necrophages. It's got to be ghouls. Normally is in situations like this. So this is the other side. Alright, oh, this is the side that's actually got the either not to spot on to. Yes, ghouls and... Okay, that one's really going out. <laughs> so, pushing up before we head in. Oh, my steel's actually getting quite damaged. Hmm. Okay, so that's... Uh, 40. Now my silver's doing... Do for us for there. It's the sword we got from the last quest. So necrophage oil. Mm, I'll go peaches. Already started in on it. <laughs> Of the algal before it with the sprouts and spikes. Right, is 
I'm sorted with relative ease. Good. Good start. Let's loot up this Argul. Chopped one of its limbs. Clean up. Right. Here's the poor soul a meal. Must be a meal. Workers mentioned him. Poor guy, unlucky as all hell. Right, now where do I start? Crushed by something heavy. Skull base is cracked. Fresh tooth marks. Necrophages. But they got to him after his death. Won't learn anything else from the body. Tissues crushed in places. Must have fallen from quite a height. Lights on the cow, I guess that's the ghouls as well, perhaps. Got sliced open. Hmm. Not much blood, so it happened after death. Or it had already stopped pumping. Tooth marks. Small ones, though. So necrophages left them clearly. Sure sniffed out their feast fast. Deep claw wounds. Spread between talons indicates a draconid. A wyvern, probably. But these wounds weren't the cause of death. Got it. All clear now. Cow died when it fell from a great height. Draconid must have dropped it. A youngster probably trying to get the cow back to its nest, but it proved too heavy. Emil's bad luck to be standing right underneath. And then there's the crane. Okay, so we've got to investigate this crane too, don't we, that was damaged. Dracon it though, we'll come back for this notice board. How do we get up here? I have to go around? Back up this way, I guess. So, where we came. Hmm, thought I heard something. I have to go around. We've got ourselves a wyvern, perhaps, or some form of draconid. Tried to steady its flight. Got hurt in the process. Good. Should be simple to track down. Use your witcher senses for the wounded Draconid's trail. Okay then. Traces of Draconid blood. Barely perceptible. I'm on the right track. Barely susceptible to any normal person. Sure is a lot of it. Just so gone back to its nest, as uh, Geralt said. Now let's get some draconid oil on then. Just in case, don't want it jumping out on me. I wouldn't be prepared. I can't sense anything with my witcher senses, so the nest still must be a bit aware. Started bleeding heavily. Wound was more serious than I thought, looks like. Extreme Christ, we're closer to those ruins than uh, I thought. Hey, up. Like 
drink. Sour mash. Dragonade must have attacked a local distillery. Bastard. Well, these ain't Draconids. Too close there. It's all the way just to be sure. So two strong strikes can deal with a high level rock theme. Good to know. She thorned out for now and I vote round this place. made a mess and moved on. Paw Prince crawled through here, clearly too tired to fly. Okay. There's a lot of loot in here, this little distillery. I need to loot up all this. Hear what sounds like insectoids over there, so I'd like to avoid that fight if uh, at all possible. Oh, I miss this. Damn it, half eaten body with scorch marks. Mm, definitely not a wyvern. Slizzard, gotta be. They breathe fire. Slizzard? Came across one of them before. No, I got bestry entry for one, didn't I? Holy shit, that looks freaky as hell. What the fuck is that? Some peasants once offered me a king's ransom to slay a slizzard, a damned hefty purse chock full of gold. But I turned them down. Coins no good if you're dead, and a slizzard, that's no fucking forktail. Zator, one of the Crinford Reavers. Slizzards are often mistaken for wyverns or forktails, yet make no mistake, slizzards are nasty, terribly dangerous beasts, and confusing them for wyverns will end very badly for the confuser. While a wyvern can tear apart and devour an untrained man in seconds, only a slizzard can first bake him to a crisp with a waft of fiery breath. Okay, great shot. Hard. When? Just make sure my draconid oil didn't do much good against those uh, rot things, so I'll just refresh that. Ah, I did do draconid, didn't I? Uh, right, salmon, nope, we want grape shot. Bootleggers Notes. So I say to that, Minister Tremblay, the whole Sans Retour Valley is overrated. Those wines, why, don't get me started on Est Est. Ever since they started mass producing it, they should call it It Ate It Ate, for it's definitely seen better days. Then he says, right you are, always being a cut de blesseur chap myself. In fact, between you and me, I even prefer it to Sangreal, you know, the wine reserved for her illustrious highness and her inner circle. And then, the fool I am, I blurt out, oh, I agree, whenever her grace has me taste it, I've got to swill my mouth out with vodka afterwards to wash out that rancid taste. Oh, come on, I was drunk, wasn't I? Talking out of my bum. Well, turns out I had rather undervalued my position at court. Tremblay needed but say a word in the Duchess's ear, and, in three shakes of a donkey's tail, I was out on the street. The job of ducal tasters being given back to Benoit. Can you believe it? After that scandal involving Baroness Nick and Quilleen? As for me, well, what was I supposed to do? Had no choice but to start making and drinking my own brews. That's always been my true passion. And I guess... 
that was that chap there then, maybe. Because he's on distillery, yeah, it will have been. Well, don't have to worry about not being the Duchess's Ducal Taster anymore. Spiders, it'll be spiders. Was in a bad way, barely crawling. I think, it, I think we're going to find it dead, and we're actually not going to have to kill it for this contract. Hmm. Second draconid landed here, a larger one. Waited for the smaller one to heal, then they flew off together. Should be easy to track. Smaller one was still bleeding, luckily. Oh, uh, shit. That spoke too soon then, didn't I? So we got an entry for Slizzards, but here's our new entry for Slizzard Matriarchs. If you ever find yourself facing a monster that breathes fire, strikes with a tail tipped with venomous spines, bites with sharp teeth and swipes with even sharper claws, and tends to knock its prey to the ground with a sonic blast, then you are fighting a slizzard. With an arsenal like that, it comes as no surprise folk often mistake these draconids for dragons. Yet the experts, meaning witchers, know slizzards constitute an entirely separate species, much smaller than dragons and far less dangerous. With one exception, slizzard fiends Females in mating season, or even worse, just after laying their eggs. When fighting such individuals, my suggestion is to get as far as possible from the danger as quickly as possible, preferably by running at full tilt without looking back. Their weaknesses is exactly the same as the normal one. We are ball. Flew off together. Probably bound for their nest. Hmm. Oh, it's gonna be up the top here, isn't it? Definitely. How far are we away from the quarry now? Oh, we're heading towards this Grandmaster Griffin gear by the looks of things. Trail ends here. Nests up there. I bet the farm on it. And the fact that we've just seen them. They're up there, alright. Two of them. It's a contract to kill two monsters at once. down and the fort Osa ruins. So was mommy about to it's the health bar must be for both of them. And Mama isn't hurt. How long are you gonna make me wait? We just did so much damage to that. Yet. Need to burn the whole nest. Christ, I don't want more of these things. Fucking hell. Slizzard, scale plate, greater red, greater glyph of igni, dahlia, and a trophy. On Roach, oh, that is creepy in it. That's probably one of the creepiest monsters we've ever came across. 
wonder what the trophy actually gives us. Uh, 10% chance this member's the same as Griffin. Little the rest. Dragon scales, monster wing. Oh, there's a place of power here. Somewhere. Christ Claire is far in the distance. We're right on the outskirts of Tucson here, aren't we? That'll do it. Flick of the wrist. <laughs> Alright, so this is actually... Let me just get this up, so we may as well get this while we're here. So if we explore the ruins of Fort Osar, then head back to complete the contract, read off the notice board, and then we'll end the episode there, I think. Because in the next one we're going to go and see if that ruin up there is another hand space or not. And I've already seen a body a second ago, so we know there's something nearby, whether or not he actually holds the diagrams, we shall see. And he does not. Right. Entrance? Two entrances. Is that the entrance to, uh, oh it's got to be the entrance to, not bloody standing in that again, the entrance to where this place of power is. Down there, let's, so we'll just look in through the rest of these ruins first. Because you never know, we might find something that wants us to go in there anyway. Orange armor die. So we've got what we're after. Griffin Steel Sword, Gauntlet's Boots, mm. with Captain Augustus Fierabras's notes. A report, should I say. It's going to lead me to the next one, I guess. The Witcher I summoned reached Osar on the 12th of September. He made a favourable impression. I had expected a cold killer, yet found myself speaking with someone who could easily be mistaken for a normal man. If not for his expansive knowledge concerning the habits of monsters, the two swords on his back and the griffin head medallion on his chest. Jerome, he was called, asked me a great many questions about the beast seen near Mont Crane Castle. Based on my responses, he concluded the monster in question was a Leshen. During our next conversation, the Witcher expressed his astonishment at being offered such a high reward, and one paid in advance, before he even arrived in Tucson. I had taken a liking to the fellow and wanted to be honest with him. Despite the vow I had sworn, I revealed his pay came entirely from a certain row, a mage who had decided to use this gift to thank our community for a warm welcome. When Jerome heard the mage's name, he first went pale, then flew into a rage. He shouted, and I quote, Gonna give that old bastard a piece of my mind. Then ran to the stables, mounted his steed, and rode off, leaving the greater part of his possessions behind. He was seen on the road to Mont Crane, but then disappeared like a rock thrown in deep water. Master Moreau claims he never saw the Witcher. What happened at Moncron? Uh, well, we know who Moreau is, so we can take some hazard guesses that he was involved in some kind of experiment. He was a sick son of a bitch after all. Oh, skeleton there. Huh? Right then. So now. Oh, lots of things. Oop. We got everything in these ruins. Aside from this place of power, unless there's something just off the, the beaten path here at the remains. Here? No. Damn. Hoping for like 
three or four chests just subtly hidden behind that demolished wall. Right, so this is supposedly below me. Um, Just save it because falling from heights. Oh, oh, here we go. Hey, there it is. Hmm, magic. A place of power. That it is, Geralt. In the rarity nowadays, isn't it? <laughs> Of our footing. I wonder why it says like two entrances then. I wonder is there another one further below me? I don't think there is, you know. Ow! Shit, that was close. Psst. There's a ball there. Might kill that for it to. Uh... Oh, okay, mate. It's a good thing I was rolling then, otherwise I would have probably been dead. Then two. Right, let's go and kill this ball. Make use of its uh, pelts and tusks to sell, since I barely have any money. Two of them. More than two. Lost your nerve. Okay, since there's quite a few, I'm gonna put some beast style on. I've just figured out. I just thought I'd give that a shot. Actually worked. Okay, I put uh it's like looking at her and die. Mm, not that. Oh look what I just seen. There's a few of them over here actually. What a strange place. It's as if you find kicky moss here. Right, hold on. So we know what we're gonna need to do. Shit. Shit. Let's do that then. Oh, we just heard the rockers. I thought I heard something else. Fucking hell. Oy, oy, oy. I don't know where that last one was. He came from. You know, what a weird place to see Kiki Mars. So you normally know, expect to see them in, uh, like, tunnels and caves. Not in, like, a, a floodplain. Next to like a river. Then what's that? To my map. Night for hire. There's something down there. Do you know they were actually quite out of the way here, so it's probably worth me checking whatever this is out. Because it's from the Duke of Camelango, we can expect it to be Probably bandits. Debating, should I? Yeah, okay. Hangman's Venom. Uh, right, Ekimara has been used. Echidna has been used. Right. I could do each fossil and increase vitality. I'm going to take a couple of ones that I don't normally take. Probably only fit that one in though, mind you, since we're still a little bit poisoned from those kicky moors. Bandits? Yes, it is. Let's 
this is any form of quest. Soon find out. <laughs> oh god, that was lucky I moved. They say you want to play it, though. That time we followed that. And that was supposed to be this guy still on the book. That's my favourite execution because it's just totally brutal. Yeah. Oh yeah. Take all this money. Oh, what have they done to this poor soul? There's a person in distress that's in here somewhere. What's well, a cage at the back there. I so said we were quite lucky when we came in. My, uh, I must have set the guy on fire and he fell over onto an explosive barrel. So there's another one there. Sheath and steel now. Take a drink. Actually, we've uh, so got one more dude to loot. Okay, what have we got in this place? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Ooh, I'm a die. As you're right, interesting. Witcher, save me! Fuck. This guy ain't fucking naughty. Oh, you're an archer. Shit, what's doing that? In that case. No, you don't. Right then, now we don't you, put you in the back. Oh, 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 oh. oh, it's a good day for executions today. It really, really is. Drink up, loot the final loot. Fucking archer. So where are we at? Delif. Hmm. There's our chap. Wait a minute, where's the key? That's a good point. We still have people alive, don't we? Probably so. Thought I saw that. Leader up here, perhaps. Can we move by the hell of a view up here? Oh, right here as well. <laughs> Open armor as tools. See, that cage is up. We have not picked up a key yet. Which concerns me. Because we won't be able to unlock that, unlock that chest otherwise. Oh, oh, hey, yo. Crafty. Very well hidden. Very well hidden. Sorry, I just want to head over here a little bit just so that I can see I've been to this little landmark. Obviously, you've seen this thing in this area throughout all of uh, Bulkler in the distance. I don't think I'd actually be able to come this far. I've never been in this area before. Alright. Let's 
slide my ass back down. There's got to be a chest somewhere or something with this key in it. This is mistaken somehow. Aha! There you go. Cage key, Ernest Scrawler's journal. I knew there'd be something around here somewhere. Ding my dong, today we drink to the last drop, or till we drop. Four Fingers had us pitch a camp near Delenfer Pass, and to keep him from going daffy with boredom, we set out on a little reconnaissance mission that happened across a merchant caravan. Sadly, we got a bit carried away. Instead of gagging and hogtying them, the lads sharpened some stakes and stuck the fat feckers on them. That was terribly exhausting work, but we had good fun doing it, and no cleft kisser can take that away. There was one skinny snipe amongst them, but we left him for later. What matters is, their wagons were packed full of quality wine, just begging to be guzzled. Naturally, we established watches so not everyone would get sloshed at once, as is only common sense. My fool of a papa used to say, Sonny, the most important thing in life's to like your job. Do that, you'll be happy. That feeble Pat was a carpenter. No tat twiddling idea what he liked about smacking the wood, but bumbotch him anyways. Geezer's been pushing daisies for ages now, and if he were alive, I'd write him a letter like this. Papa, I like my work a whole lot, and thanks for teaching me to read and write, because now I can let you know I give absolutely zero fecks about your advice. That was polite. <laughs> Uh, but again, this camp must have been pitched up by the local Hans leader. Uh, this chap's near me. You safe my life, I thank you. Should you need something, find me at the cockatrice. Oh, a place I know. Miracle. Good, right. In that case, uh, we probably won't read off the notice board today, actually. We'll probably do that at the start of the next one. Let's uh, head back to the foreman and give him the good news that we've resolved the cow mystery for him. Uh, let's give the watch a shout because we are a little bit away. Yeah, you should know what the problem is when I ride up on Roach giving the, the new trophy at my side. Run, Ugh, Roach. It's creepy as hell. Drink! Give me a drink! So there is someone on this half of the, of the quarry. One chap who's gagging for a drink, apparently. Oh, they must have... Have they moved on? Have they, yeah, they have. Okay. No, they haven't, because that's the side. He's in the middle. Poor workers on top. Uh, oh, is there an easier... Oh, fine. So is there an easier way to get down? I guess I'm taking the ladders. This might level me up, actually. The middle bit, aha, good. Foreman looks like he's still here. Along with his disgruntled workers who should be going back to work now. Come evening, I'm off to the bells, quick as a flash. Those blacksmith here. Where is this foreman at? Oh he's down oh he's back where we left him. Have you learned how that cow came to fly? Yeah, you can get back to work. And it wasn't a plague of falling cows. Did I not say so from the start? A weight off my chest. So what was behind the animal's plummet? Young slizzard flying over the quarry dropped it. Was trying to get it back to its nest. Food for its mother and siblings. Probably heard the last of the beasts. Burned the nest. Eggs, everything. A praiseworthy precaution, but as I said, I can only pay you what we agreed. I simply haven't any more. Here, take this. And I thank you, Master. Oh, 
All cleared up now, right? No gods, no plague, just a dragon, but it's gone too. We're to pay Emil's widow compensation, and that will be that. So, why do you still stand there and wait, men? Back to work, chop chop! And I've a notion suspicious workings are still afoot. What became of the builders who were to put the statue together? They were due three days back, yet there's still no sign of them at Ardeso. They were crushed too, I'm certain of it. Or eaten, or, or locusts got them like in Zeregania. What's this rubbish you spout now? The architect wrote they would arrive a week late with a large shipment of marble from Metana for the Prophet's beard. So stop flapping your yaps and get to work! Allow me to walk you away, Master. Truth be told, I lied. But I cannot have them panic again. The workers he mentioned, they've indeed vanished. Come see me later, I shall divulge to you the details. You what? What? Big feet to fill. Okay. Looks like one quest has led to another quest. That's interesting. Yeah, you sort of knew by the way he was looking at the workers that something wasn't quite right. But uh, I guess we've got another contract or something on our hands. Big feet to fill. So in the next episode we shall go and speak to the foreman again in the quarry. And then head north eastwards towards that castle ruin where hopefully we will find our second at Hans base. Bulls asleep in midst the trees. That's all asleep.